So the Axle GS Extremes, I got these about six months ago and that's actually right about the time when I produced my first video on the Axle. So I've used the GS Extremes a lot since getting them. They proved to be really good hearing protection, especially for the type of stuff that I shoot. I won't use these if I'm shooting something really, really over the top loud. But when you start getting into like the big stuff, like 50 BMG and just that crazy loud stuff, I usually put on something a lot bigger. I wanna kinda of discuss how these have performed for me in the past six months of using these. And after these six months of heavy usage, would I buy them? I've made the Axle GS Extremes my new go-to hearing protection. Yeah, if I'm shooting something really loud, like the Barrett, I'll probably choose to use the over-the-ear earmuffs, but that's pretty obvious. Otherwise, for shooting handguns, shooting even the AR, shooting anything like that, they seem to work really good. They cancel noise really well. So one thing that's really cool is for all my viewers, Axle set me up a website. So I have that link in the description below and in my blog. And that website's gonna take you to a page where you get 65% off if you guys decide you wanna order a pair of these. Now buying through that link does also help the channel out as well. So. First of all, before we get into it, let's again look at what comes with the axles. So you get this little carrying case, and yeah, I still have the case, um, and it's been pretty good shape. So open them up, and then inside the case, you get the actual GS Extremes right here, and then right here on the side, you have a whole bunch of different silicone uh, earplugs, and then you have the the foam ones, an extra set of smaller foam ones. I have the big ones installed right now, and then a clip. So I usually keep them inside this case to help them be protected, but I actually have a little story about these anyways, because of course, ideally, yeah, I'd love to always have these things in the case, and that's not necessarily the case. Anyways, so I actually left these in my truck about the third, second or third month of owning them. I went shooting with Tactical Toolbox, and it was just hot like a really really hot day and these ended up being in the back of my truck and i couldn't find them i didn't know they were in the bed of the truck they were in there for like probably uh geez a week uh including through a rainstorm so these got rained on um they've gotten they actually got a lot more beat up too you can see like i don't know if this will focus that close but you can kind of see that bendy bar right here that molds around your ear is just kind of like beat up it still holds really good it still bends and holds its shape really well as which is good um but it's been a little tattered it's gone through some weather and arizona sun is no joke needless to say they still perform like they did when i got them which is good news so they don't they haven't degraded over time which is one thing i was worried about um heavy usage all that does you know will the microphone still work will the charging system still work i haven't really played with the bluetooth i just don't really use bluetooth stuff that much unless it's my truck so what's really cool about the gs extremes is they're not only for shooting you can use them for multitude of things which i do so as a lot of you guys know i'm not a full-time gun content creator um i do also work uh, another job now in that job, I work around some loud equipment, um, mechanical rooms, chillers, stuff like that, really high pitch areas um, in which when you walk into these rooms, they usually have these big old bins full of the foam earplugs. You grab a pair of earplugs, throw them in um, for PPE. So what I do is I bring these as well. And I will tell you what, they've gotten some looks and people are blown away with how cool these things are. Especially when I tell them you can hook the Bluetooth up to your phone. Um, they enhance the sound that comes in. So you can still talk to people when you're wearing these and they can talk to you. You can hear them just fine. They mute out the high pitched sounds that'll damage your hearing. So using these other than just shooting is also pretty cool. If you guys haven't noticed, I've produced a few dozen videos since releasing my video initially on these guys. And in most of those shooting videos, you'll see me wearing these. This is the LA Police Gear Level 4 Ceramic Plate. Let's do a torture test. I 
eye protection and ear protection. Let's get on with the video. So one of my favorite things about these is when you put them on. Arizona's hot, right? I turn them on and I can hear myself talk so I don't feel like I have to yell to get the sound out. Um, you know, it's kind of like that effect. It's an electronic ear pro. They all have a very similar function. Now, one thing that some people have been complaining about, and I've noticed too, is when you're talking and you have these things turned way, way up, just like right now, it the your voice gets, um, well, first of all, it's like crazy loud right now. <laughs> so when you have them turned up way, way loud, your voice starts getting muted out. It almost starts sounding kind of robotic, like blown out. So my remedy for that is just turning it down like three or four steps and then your voice gets clear. I can still hear myself talking. I can still hear everything around me. I can hear other people talking, but now it's not muted. So I think having these things turned up isn't really a good idea and I don't necessarily think they're meant for that. The difference is they're capable of doing that. If you really need to hear that loud, I mean, you can turn them up. But yeah, it's going to start distorting your voice when you're high up. But it seems like four steps for me with my voice, how my voice sounds, four steps down um, seems to be perfect. My voice is not distorted at all right now. It sounds good. And they, they just work well. Overall, I just kind of want to give you guys an update, like a little report on how the GS Extremes have been holding up for me. And so far, so good. They really have been working well for me. And like I said, I use them in a lot of videos. So yes, I, I would still recommend the GS Extremes. I'll probably end up purchasing another pair, one for my wife, because she absolutely loves these things too. But they're mine and I'm the one that does all the shooting. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this. If you guys want that 65% off discount, go ahead and use that link below. And that's it. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you later. Take care.